Each morning, children from all over Richardson ride the school bus to Hamilton Park Elementary. It's voluntary busing, the now famous pace setter program. But voluntary busing in Richardson, along with sophisticated learning programs offered at Hamilton Park, could be in jeopardy if Congressman Jim Collins' anti-busing energy legislation ever becomes law. Busing was built into the pace setter program, and without it, many children who come to Hamilton Park from throughout Richardson could not. The program could fail by not meeting the court-ordered racial balance. But the issue closest to the hearts of parents who made the program work is Congressman Collins' apparent oversight of busing that is working. Really, if, if the amendment had been phrased to catch forced busing, we wouldn't be concerned. Uh, the problem is that we have a program that has you know, a lot of community involvement, a lot of community enthusiasm. People are working to make, could, to make the thing work, and it is working. And he, wasn't, he didn't even consider that issue in, in presenting his amendment as far as we can see. Parents have been voiced to me. Yesterday, my telephone literally rang off the wall regarding the anti-busing issue. Pace setter is really in progress. All one needs to do is visit the school and watch the children. Parents here realize that anti-busing legislation could fail, that their fears could be unfounded. But they also realize that anti-busing sentiment is growing in Congress, and if passed, could mean an end to the pace setter program. Betty Hoover, Channel 8 News in Richardson.